topic el nino sudden oscillation that is enzo to understand it easily look at this simple pendulum just as this simple pendulum oscillates as shown the ocean currents oscillates in between eastern and western sides of pacific ocean in the southern hemisphere to understand el nino sudden oscillation first we need to know about neutral phase in neutral phase the central pacific ocean becomes warm and this is due to the fact that there is more amount of heat along equator due to earth's curvature the central pacific ocean along equator gets heated up now the trade winds comes into the picture the trade winds which are also known as tropical easterlies that originate from the tropical east slowly blow from eastern side towards western side in the tropical region now these trade winds pushes the warm ocean currents towards asian side that is towards indo australian indonesian countries that is from east to west thus the western pacific ocean gets warmed and low pressure is created here now the regions around the new zealand australia and indonesia gets warmed and increases the temperature and moisture content hence through the process of convection the warm air rises high into the atmosphere then cloud formation takes place resulting in rain now this warm air before the reflecting towards eastern pacific ocean it comes in contact with the cold air in troposphere then slowly this warm air becomes dry and this dry air travel towards eastern pacific ocean and comes down towards peruvian coastal region thus making eastern pacific region cold and hence high pressure is created here this process of rising air in the west and falling air in the east is called as walker circulation this phenomenon is said to be in neutral phase now let us understand about el nino in this phase the trade winds becomes weak as a result due to which the warm ocean current slowly moves back towards central and eastern pacific ocean hence we can observe that warm ocean current starts swinging that is it oscillates and now this warm ocean current shifts towards peruvian coast and hence it rains due to low pressure and the indo australian continents receives less or no rain due to high pressure and low temperature so simply we can say that el nino means eastern pacific warm ocean current moving towards la nina in this phase the trade winds are strong hence it pushes warm ocean currents from eastern pacific to western pacific as the warm ocean current is at western side near indo australian continents low pressure is created whereas on the eastern side by default cold water from deeper oceans occupies the eastern side where high pressure is created hence due to la nina the western parts gets more rain Hence La Nina is a phenomena that describes cooler than normal ocean surface temperatures in the eastern and central Pacific oceans.